Hello, my name is Philip Rinaldis. I'm the product engineer for the Tiger Cat 800 series of loggers. Tiger Cat produces a full line of forestry swing machines that can be configured as a shovel logger, processor, and loader. Tiger Cat's logger lineup consists of four sizes the 865, the 875E, the 880E, and the 890. This video will cover the features and benefits of the 875E, 880E, and 890. For more information on the 865, you can watch a full walk-around video of that machine on Tiger Cat TV. The loggers were designed to be productive, reliable, and fuel efficient with a long service life. They feature high horsepower engines and efficient hydraulic systems that provide lots of boom power, swing power, track power, and provide good fuel efficiency. High capacity cooling systems allow them to operate in a wide variety of temperature conditions. All models feature the same large comfortable cab and excellent service access, as well as many other features. These will be covered in more details than there are throughout this video. All undercarriages feature heavy duty FH400 track components, as well as Tiger Cat's purpose built track drive gearboxes. They also feature on the track frames, full length ski type rock guards with excellent service access to the track rollers. The car body has high ground clearance and also has a forged one piece swing bearing support pedestal. There also is a heavy duty swing out belly pan. Top slides are standard and top rollers are optional. There's also optional hydraulics available to run slasher saw. Looking at the front of the machine, you'll notice the heavy duty guarding in front of the access stairway, as well as on the boom cylinder guards. The high cab on all Tiger Cat loggers gives the operator an excellent view of the work area. Lights mounted on the cab riser and the front guard illuminate the area directly in front of the machine. There are lights mounted around the top of the cab and on the sides of the stick boom to provide lots of lighting for the entire work area. For added operator safety, a key fob is provided to control cab access lights remotely. Pressing the button on the remote will turn on the rear outside cab lights and the interior lights. The lights will remain on for 90 seconds after the button has been pressed. There are several boom systems available to run a multitude of different options. All share the same main boom, just have different plumbing configurations. There are several stick boom options available. The universal stick boom can be configured to run a power clamber button top grapple, live heel, log grapple, as well as pulp wood grapples. It also can be run as a processor. There's also dedicated harvester stick boom with weld on tips and a dedicated long reach stick boom for button tops for mill yard applications. The boom system combined with a flexible hydraulic system provide efficient operation of a variety of different attachments. This simplifies midlife machine conversions, which improves resale value. Tiger Cat designs and manufactures power clam and button top grapples for the 875 and 880. This provides a full Tiger Cat solution from front to back. Moving around to the left side of the machine, there's a door on the side of the cab riser. Opening this door allows access to the area under the cab, which has a switch for a service light. There's a fire extinguisher mounted here, access to the AC heater unit and plumbing for the cab hydraulics. The high rise cab tilts for transporting the machine. The cab tilt cylinder and transport cable are located under the cab. The cab retaining bolts can be accessed from this area and must be removed before tilting the cab. There's a bolt locker to store the bolts while the cab is tilted. The hydraulic service compartment is located behind the cab. In here you will find the power pack that operates the cab tilt, power roof and side platform functions. These also can be operated manually in the event of a power failure. The hydraulic return and case drain filters are serviced in this compartment. The hydraulic tank oil level sight glass 
is also in this compartment located behind the filters. The hydraulic tank is pressurized to provide oil flow to the pumps. There's a vent valve in the cab to release this pressure in the event of a hose failure to reduce the amount of oil loss. There's also a manual air vent valve, air pressure gauge, air pressurization valve, electric refill pump, and vacuum pump in this compartment. At the rear of the machine is the cooler compartment door. Inside here you'll find the engine radiator, hydraulic oil cooler, charge air cooler, and AC condenser. There's a removable optional debris screen that can be easily lifted out for cleaning. The fuel fill cap, DEF tank fill cap, cab tilt switch, and main fuse and relay box are all accessible from this area. If the machine is equipped with a diesel powered coolant heater, its fuel tank is located beside the DEF tank. In front of the coolers, there's a large storage area under a tilt-up platform. This can be easily hinged up to access the area. It's made of a diamond plate, so it can be used as a work platform. The upper frame features a full-length, thick steel center plate, as well as high-strength steel, heavy-duty bumpers that are impact-resistant. The rear is a solid cast counterweight, which provides excellent stability. There's a rear view camera and light located at the top of the counterweight to give the operator full view to the rear of the machine. There's also removable access panels under the upper frame to access the cooler area as well as the engine compartment. Handrails, safety grading, and other non-slip surfaces are used throughout to provide safe three point of contact access. On the right side of the machine, there's a large powered side platform that is controlled by a switch in the cab. The platform provides a convenient work area to perform a number of daily checks. When this platform is open, the operator has easy access to the engine oil dipstick, engine fill cap, engine ECU, primary and secondary fuel filters, air filter, and remote CCV filter. The engine air intake pre-cleaner is located in a separate sealed compartment to avoid dust and debris entering the engine area. The hydraulic pilot and swing charge filters are also located in this area. These steps lead to the cab and the central service area. The first step is the battery box cover, which includes a charge port. These steps tilt forward, they're secured by a latch. Once the latch is opened, they can be tilted forward by hand. This provides access to the main pump stack, the hydraulic pilot manifold, as well as an electronic control module. The pump system here consists of a main pump, closed loop swing pump, attachment pump, swing charge pump, and there's a fan pump on the engine PTO drive. The main pump supplies flow to the track and boom functions, depending on the attachment, some attachment functions. The swing pump is just for the swing. The attachment pump is dedicated for the attachment. This pump system allows for very efficient operation of many different types of attachments. Once you've got to the top of the stairs, you can climb this ladder down into the central service area. The front to rear orientation of the engine and pumps allows full access to this side of the engine. Also in this area are the swing gearbox, oil reservoirs, the fan motor, and the DEF supply module. On this side of the engine, there's easy access to the starter, oil filter, alternator, and AC compressor. The cooler fan speed is thermostatically controlled to provide only the required airflow based on heat load. It also reverses to purge debris from the cooler. This system allows for faster warm up as well as improved fuel efficiency. Removable shields separate the engine compartment from the hydraulic system. These are to prevent hydraulic oil spraying on hot engine components in the event of a leak. The main valve consists of a manifold and individual valve sections. These can be configured to suit any type of attachment. Each valve section 
has its own flow and pressure adjustments that can be tuned to suit an operator's needs or to meet the requirements of a specific attachment. This walkway can be tilted up to provide access to the front of the main valve as well as the swing motors and gearboxes. The loggers feature twin swing which provides lots of swing torque. They also feature a closed loop swing system which provides energy recovery. When the swing is decelerating or braking, the momentum of the upper drives the motors to act like pumps. They drive the pump to act like a motor which powers the engine thereby improving fuel efficiency. The large rear entry cab is common to all Tiger Cat loggers. It's ergonomically designed, is quiet and climate controlled for maximum operator comfort. Large windows on all sides of the cab provide excellent visibility. The tracks can be viewed through the floor windows by the operator's feet. The cab forward design combined with slight curve in the main boom provide excellent visibility to the right side. The large parallel action seat has many adjustments to suit any operator. The seat cushion moves independently of the seat backrest. The seat back reclines and is fully adjustable with seat angle and seat pan adjustments as well as lumbar support. The seat has a five position lumbar support. Armrests are fully adjustable. The integrated heating and cooling keep the operator comfortable in all weather conditions. There's also a 3 inch 76 millimeter manual lap belt and 2 inch 51 millimeter retractable shoulder belt for added operator safety. Operator's controls are within easy reach with an overhead control panel and armrest mounted joysticks and switches. Joystick handles will depend on the machine configuration and attachment. Some joystick buttons are user configurable through the control panel. The climate control system panel has automatic and manual temperature controls. An engine hot shutdown feature has been added. This allows the turbo to sufficiently cool before stopping the engine for improved turbo life. An emergency engine stop button overrides this feature if necessary. There's an emergency exit hatch in the roof and the left rear window can also be used as an alternate exit. I hope you've enjoyed this walk around of the Tiger Cat loggers. If you're interested in these or any other Tiger Cat products, please contact your nearest Tiger Cat dealer.